guys i feel and look like a hot mess but i am currently ironing my uniform um purple scrubs and white tops because that's the um clinical uniform colors or that's the school colors anyways so yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing currently got my iron board here set up i haven't ironed anything in a long time and it's not even the iron board is not set the correct way but my socket is over there so i have to put this part down here but yeah so i'm ironing i'll get back to you guys just a moment hey guys good morning welcome back to the channel today is october 4th 4th october 4th and it is see my clock over there it is some minutes to two in the morning i'm starting this vlog because i am getting ready for clinicals I have to drive three hours away from my location that I'm, I'll be doing clinicals at. So, um, yeah, it's three hours away. So I have to drive there and I have to be at that location at 3 p.m. tomorrow. So I am leaving here. Hold on, guys. I'm just sitting down. I've been sitting on my butt all day getting my hair. I'll get to that also. So I have to leave here um, so I can get to the hotel and, um, you know, get that situated before I go to my location. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm going to be vlogging this whole experience um for those of you who don't know i do online i'm doing my rn i'm doing it online so the requirements of the school is we have to do two uh clinical rotations one in the third to final class and then another the final one in the final class so i'm on the third to final class currently yay me yay so i have to be preparing for my clinical rotation so i just finished packing my bags it's a whole weekend and like i said it's three hours away so i have to literally bring everything i have at home and more i still have not put any clothes in there because it's not like I'm going anywhere so I just put two outfits um I probably need to put a, another shirt underneath one of them but it is what it is by when I'm done I'm gonna um try to find one other outfit I'm gonna have three outfits and that's it and some undershirts that is it. I'm not. It's three days. I'm not bringing no town and no country. You know how we Jamaicans can pack like we crazy. You know, we're not doing something there. Because it's not like I'm going anywhere. You know, the most I'm going to go out for is to get food. And that's like after work on both days. So naturally, I'm going to be in my scrubs. Then back to the hotel. May don't need time i'm gonna have is sunday night and probably gonna have homework I'm probably gonna be tired who knows i don't know but anyways that's what's up um yeah and that's what i'm getting prepared to do so i guess i'll see you guys in the morning i want to leave here like 10 so i get there in time to sort out the hotel then get to my location by 3 p.m. So 10, 11, 12, 1. So I get there at 1 p.m. So we have two hours to kind of, you know, kind of get some some refreshment, get use the bathroom, sort of the hotel, and then get to my location because the hotel is like 
one like almost two miles from where i'm going so yeah i'm taking you guys with me and i'm probably gonna go live during this trip just to answer some questions if anybody's got questions you know about online school and all of that forgive me i've been braiding my hair all day i'm shiny i'm just like a like a, somebody poured oil all over me but i haven't done my nighttime routine yet i'm about to go do it because i did my braids myself i haven't done braids for myself in months like literally months so these i did them a little big they're not my typical size but it's okay it was a rush one so it's all right i'm gonna just throw my bonnet on go brush my teeth wash my face and head to bed all right guys so i'll see you in the morning and oh it's vlogmas not vlogmas it's vlogtober we're gonna do this vlogtober stuff we're gonna try at least okay all right guys so i'll see you in the morning hey y'all good morning just woke up i'm doing some last minute stuff that i probably should have done already probably should have done already but i was so busy so busy i'm just getting it done now i'm printing my um like my evaluation rubric i'm just going over like my expectations and the requirements of the program i'm just trying to go over that right now and then it's almost 8 30. we have on street parking so i have to go and move my car and my son is fast asleep so i can't depend on him right now so i'm gonna um i'm gonna get some more stuff together and I get back to you guys now. I'm going to let y'all know exactly what's going on. As I'm freaking out, I'm anxious, everything. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know, okay? Because your girl is getting anxious. But I'm going to hold it together because this ain't my first rodeo. So I'm going to hold it together. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, guys. So I am on my way. Oh, did I just hit my damn head? So I'm on my way um, to that location. I um, wait, is he driving the wrong way? Anyways, I'm on my way to that location, but we're currently parking parking the cars because we don't want to keep the cars on the main road because um. We'll get a ticket because you have to when you have on street parking you're gonna switch every day so we're just parking that last car all right um so yeah so i'm on my way wanted to buy some stuff to go but i'm i changed my mind um just gonna go to walmart over there and purchase some stuff for lunch and for you know just to just to have it's not like we could cook or anything and they do serve um breakfast in the morning like a continental breakfast so i'm gonna work with that i won't be able to work with that because actually the reason for that i am leaving early in the morning like i have to get to the location at 6 a.m so I won't be able to partake in the breakfast stuff because breakfast is served at 6.30. So I'm going to have to bring, like, get some hot cups, get some, you know, some little stuff so that I can, um, I can have lunch, breakfast. For dinner, most likely we're going to go out to, um, most likely we're going to go out for dinner in the evening. We're going to have to find somewhere and go out. I don't know what the area is like, but um, just hoping. I've looked around, and I'm, I'm seeing everything that's in my area. I'm seeing it there, so may have to drive out a little bit, little distance to find it, but it's okay. Once I, um, because I still have, to, I stay up at night, so um, I can drive with my son while he drives home. I can be on the phone with him while he drives home. So 
I'll go to sleep early and then I'm going to wake up at 12 so that I can um, talk to him while he's on his way home. But, um, yeah, we're, we're heading out. We're heading out. Praying for journeying mercies and, um, and a safe return and a successful clinical. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I mentioned in this video, but I do go to an online school. I'm transitioning from an LPN to an RN, and it's an online school. I live in New York. So if you want to know more about this online school situation, just let me know. I will link it. I will tell you everything that I can. But for now, I'm just going to keep it at the journey and the process and everything. My face is super shiny right now. I didn't even wash my face with my soap this morning because I don't know why. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys. We're going to go pick up some breakfast. Not breakfast. It's more like lunch because it's almost... Um, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm going to have to pull out my GPS tool. So how am I going to record on my phone? I'm using the GPS. Anyways, talk to you guys. Just a moment. So I just checked my GPS and it's going to take me two hours and 39 minutes to get to the location. Two hours and 39 minutes. So. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. You can tell, right? I'm extremely nervous, but um, I'm going to drive probably half of the... I mean, I can drive. It's no problem with me driving the full distance, but I don't want to be too tired when I get there. And I want to, to vlog, so... You already know. I'm gonna um be a passenger princess for today. <laughs> I'm gonna be a passenger princess for today because I wanna vlog. Um but anyways, I'm about to get the food. And I'm, it's lunch it's I haven't had breakfast, but it's lunchtime, so all I have to get here on to, at the restaurant is lunch. So I guess I'm gonna eat rice. I'm gonna be eating rice for breakfast. Okay. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in when well a little bit more, and I'll show you guys like the area. And like I said, it's gonna be a surprise for me too because I've never been to that part of New York. Um, so I'll show you whatever I see. And whatever, as long as I'm not driving, whatever I can show you, I will. It's a new experience. I've never left my son before. Um, in terms of since he's been grown and we're both living here, I've never really left him. He's always been on any trip with me. So it's that's kind of nerve wracking for me also because like that's my that's my travel partner right there and really never left him to go anywhere so um you know it's a new experience in general for me totally new experience but i'm embracing it because um it's what we have to do when you're transitioning in life to be a better person, be in a better place, be in a better job, then there's some sacrifice that we have to make. And I guess this is my first, where I have to go leave my son so that I can come back and be a better person, a better mom who can provide financially and, um, you know, keep a roof over her head at all times. That's my aim. And this is why I go very hard, like, I'm getting teary teary right now like this is the reason why I go so hard because I want to live a life where my son can see that it's possible you know it's possible you can say if I did it you can do it too you know that type of thing so yeah so that's what's that's what's happening right now so we're head about to head out because the food is here
actually did do my clinical orientation already so I just got back to the hotel the hotel is pretty pretty decent um we did a walk through the hospital the floor that we're going to um, be working on did a little walk through you know just to orient us on where stuff are kept and what we might be doing expectations and basically what type of um, patients we may be monitoring tomorrow. So um, I go there at 6.30 in the morning. Um, it's a 12 hour shift, so from 6.30 to 6.30. And we're gonna be doing that for both days, um, Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, that's what's going on i am just just want to show you the room it's called it's the comfort in suite up here in binghamton um so yeah it's i've never been in this area before so i just kind of chose the hotel on a whim because um it was closest to the hospital it's actually 3.4 miles when I booked it, I thought it was 1.9 miles, but it's not. But it's still good because it's not that far away. It's like eight minutes away, so it's not bad. But let me show you the room. So this is the bathroom. Not too bad. Look what they got. They got themselves a ring light type stuff. So it's over here. They have one sink. They have a little stuffy stuff over there. This is the shower. It's not too bad, you know. So this can be an option if you are, you know, coming to do clinicals here. It might be an option, and it wasn't. It wasn't bad. The price was not bad, but look at this. This is my um my dress that I got from TikTok shop. It has gotten very short. I don't know why, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna answer and it wasn't it wasn't bad. It, the price was not bad, but look at this. This is my um my dress that I got from TikTok shop. It has gotten very short. I don't know why, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's a um there's a mirror here. So that's, that's me. So mirror here. There's a little seat there. Night table. This is a desk area. Excuse the garbage. We just ate, so excuse the garbage. Over here is a air conditioning unit, and I believe it also it's a heater. So that's there. And they have this little table thing I have some stuff up there so I'm not gonna show and then they have that lamp that's the big lamp over there so so currently there's four lamps in this room four lamps oh I kind of like this lamp plus there's a light in the hallway so it's kind of like a lot of light so far but this I'm happy for refrigerator and a microwave so we can literally buy food and not have to suffer with cold food tonight. So we're good. And it's a big old bed. Hey guys. What's up? What's up? 
sleeping. So today is the technically the first day of clinicals and I am heading out. It is 6 20 6 20 right now. I'm supposed to get there at 6 30 so I'm on good timing um because we're like three miles away so that's good. Um don't know what today holds but I'll let you guys know at the end of the day, all right? Hey guys, so I am, um, I'm at the end of day one end of day one for my clinical and <laughs> we done drove out here in the city of Binghamton on Main Street to come find some Jamaican food why we Jamaicans are like that we we gotta find search out and find our Jamaican restaurants everywhere we go because yesterday we had fast food we had KFC today I had fast food like today I want some of my ethnic meals right now so we out here little spot we don't know you know if it's okay because even though you yeah. hold on so we're actually going to buy the meal I had gotten a call we're actually going to buy the food because um you know he went in to kind of see if the place is clean and all of that and if it wasn't clean he wouldn't have called me to say he was ordering it so i'm gonna show you guys this restaurant in case you're out here in bigham town and you want to know where we damn she came back close where we we got jamaican food this is where we got it but it's out here on main street and we're in another part we're in johnson city and we're out here in Binghamton city so yeah yeah so um all right let me let me stop blabbing because let me let you guys see the place and I will tell you how the food tastes if it's good or not but I'm still gonna show you them all right Day two, day two of clinicals. I'm heading out, it's dark out, it's like lots of fog this morning, but we gotta go, we still gotta go, we gotta do the thing, so we're heading there. Um, guys, look, we have appointments over there. Let me show you the fog. Guys, I'm still here. Today is my final day. Today is the final day of my clinicals. And ended up having, um, staying in the area one more day because I thought we were gonna be like out really, really late. So I didn't wanna drive home. 